everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and we talk writing on this channel. And today we are going to be talking about books, books about siblings, because today is National Siblings Day. And if you have a sibling, like I do, I have a brother who is 18 months younger than me, and I'm gonna find some good pictures and post them underneath here of us together. And um, over the years, I don't know, I have to look through the pile and see how many I have. But, you know, if you have a sibling, today is a day to celebrate because I don't think that, I don't know what my life would have been like without him. And I had 18 months without him, but I don't remember it. So I gave birth to six children. So they, all, I have, I have gave, I've given birth to six siblings and watching them grow up and now being adults and watching their relationships grow and change. And, you know, it's, it's really interesting because I don't think as a child, you really understood what your relationship with your sibling was going to be like as an adult. And my brother and I have gone through stuff. Okay. Uh, both of our parents are gone. We had to do that. Um, you know, go through their illnesses together, stand at their funerals together. Um, and then of course I had six children and he didn't have any, we went through marriages, we went through divorces, we've been through a lot. And there are times when we are so, so super close. And then there are other times, not so much. And then we get mad at each other and we don't talk and you know, time's wasted a lot, but I don't know what the role of a sibling is supposed to be anyway. I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't. You watch other siblings and you're like, oh, we're closer than that. And then you watch other ones and you're like, oh, we're not as close as them. I don't even know what the right answer to that is. But what I can tell my children when they watch this someday when they're 50 is it's going to change all the time. And, um, and then there's nothing else like it because nobody knows your crap like a sibling. Okay. So the whole world can buy all your crap, but your sibling always knows the truth remember that. So we are going to talk about my top five. I don't even know that I have 10. So about five books that I've read about siblings that are, are like so near and dear to my heart. Okay. Number one, The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. You guys, if you have not read this book, it came out in 2006, 273 pages, World War II. It's an autobiography. It's about her time in a concentration camp and she was in a concentration camp with her sister. And this story about sisters, I mean, her story is crazy anyway, but I'm not gonna tell you anything. You gotta go read it, okay? Number two, The Romanoff Sisters by Helen Rappaport. I'm gonna put the interview that I did with Helen a little while back, 529 pages, it's long. I listened to this book on audio and then I read it. It's that good, okay? Of course, we know who the Robinoff sisters are, okay? And there was four of them, and they had a little brother. And their story is so amazing, especially since they were trapped in the castle, like, just with themselves as best friends. It's amazing, okay? Number three, Everything Here is Beautiful by Mira T. Lee. I also had the chance to talk to Mira. I'm going to put that below. Uh, 367 pages, and it's about sisters. And I love this story about sisters. This is one of my favorite sisters, except for the next one, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And that one is the ultimate sisters, right? Oh, I love them. 260 pages. I'm like, that's it? No wonder I've read it so many times. I had no idea that it was that short, but I've read it more times than I can count. And um, I think there's another movie. If there is, I will put it up there for you. I'm pretty, I thought I saw something. I hope so, right? And then number five, last but not least, I put it as my last one, Prince of Tides by Pat Conroy, because it's about a brother and sister. They're twins. Uh, 560 pages, and you guys all know this movie. If you've seen the movie, go read the book. But if you haven't seen the movie, read the book, then go see the movie. But um, my brother and I are not twins, but 18 months apart is pretty close. <laughs> so we're not twins, but it's pretty close in age. We don't remember life without each other. So I, I'm like, it's about as close to twins as you can get. But I love 
love every one of these books. And um, so I thought, what, what better day to tell you guys about it than today? So happy National Sibling Day, everybody. And if you have a sibling, yay, celebrate your sibling, right? I mean, they're your first friends, right? Anyway, have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.